Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. As you know, I am a big Fallout fan. I love the franchise, the bits. Fallout 4 is coming out in November. And when I heard about this, I had to get it like straight away. So this is the Fallout Anthology in a mini nuke. Yes, look how crazy that is. It's quite big. I mean, I've got quite a big head. But look, it's like the size of my head, it's crazy. So the back of it, all the games on there. So you've got Fallout 1, Fallout 2, uh, Fallout Tactics, Fallout 3, and New Vegas. That includes all the DLC and stuff as well in one, one, one thingy. This is like 40 pounds. Uh, apparently it's been sold out pretty much everywhere. You can't find it, and uh, I have it. It's PC only, by the way. And uh, yeah, let's start, let's start unboxing it. Please, I want to see it in, a, in action. So, this first little panel, that's the back bit. There it is, got some Fallout 4 art there. Look at that, I love the art in this game as well. The, even like the type and the logo and, oh man, I love these games. All right, so what's this? Don't need that. And here's the bomb. The, ooh, I've got a lid. <laughs> So apparently I have three batteries, like watch batteries, so I'm going to try and find out what this means. So I think it goes in the bottom, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I've, I've never done it before, put three watch batteries together, so I could like a sort of combined effort. And I hope it goes okay, I hope I don't break it. Right, close it, does it work? So I've got the batteries in, and here it is, the mini nuke, and there's a button on the front, it says keep away from children under 12. What? Can I swallow it or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's see what happens. Does it blow up? It's a mini nuke. Oh, man. I remember the first time I got like a mini, like a fat man in Fallout 3, and I, I fired it, and I was like, what the hell? If you don't know, it's pretty much a nuke, but it's a mini nuke, so it's just like a, a big explosion, but like an actual nuke. It does so much damage. I think I went to like a behemoth first, which is like a massive mutant. I had like a bit of damage, and I was like, oh my god, this game is insane. Uh, but yeah, the batteries are in, and that's that's the bomb in action. You're probably wondering, like, where's the games? Right, so now that's done, we need to open it up and see what's inside. I'm guessing the games, uh, I hope. Right, so let's open it up. I do actually own these games already on Steam, so I don't really know why I got it in terms of like, the games, but I want the mini nuke, and it looks so good, so that's, that's why I've done it. Right, so this is a... Just like a cardboardy box. Uh, it's got Fallout 1 and 2, uh, Tactics there, and Fallout 3 and New Vegas. I like Fallout 3 the most. Uh, would I recommend playing it before you get Fallout 4? Maybe, I guess. I mean, it's got Liam Neeson in it, which is pretty cool. He's like the father figure. Um, I mean, it's a good game. It's, it still holds up today, especially with like, mods and stuff as well on the PC. New Vegas is a very good game as well. Both of those games are just like, you just, you just immerse time in them. It's crazy. Not played the first two. Or tactics, I should do because I like the whole. I love the whole Fallout like, universe, the the franchise. I should play them all. I don't know. I just haven't got around to it, but I will do. It. I will do it at some point. All right, so we open it up. Again, the artwork just all repeats itself, and then we get all the games. All there. Hope you guys can see that. Can you see that? If I don't focus on my face, there we go. So you may have seen that. It's like a Fallout 4 slot. That's the first one I'm going to look at because I want to see what, what is it in there. Probably not. <laughs> it's not in there yet because it comes out in November. So there it is. It's like a, like a spare slot for your disc. Is there anything in there? Ooh. Ooh. So it's got like a, a date on it. Please stand by so I can have a cardboard. I'm going to leave that in there. Uh, anything else? I think that is it. So next up is Fallout New Vegas. Again, the art is awesome. I love the art. Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition with all the DLC stuff on it. Uh, and the disc inside, of course. Now with my fingerprints on it. Oh yes, there it is. So, something I want to say quickly though, Fallout 3 and New Vegas don't work that well at the moment. If you have, if like Windows 10 or like Windows 8 or Windows 7, you have to like patch it and do lots of stuff like that. It's it's hard to make it work perfectly, and it's a little bit annoying. I mean, now they're like reselling it as well, which is like, well, can you not fix the game quickly? Like, just add a few patches in, fix fix it for like Windows 10 users or Windows 8. But yeah, it takes a lot of work to make it actually function, which is frustrating, very frustrating. Anyway, Fallout 3, probably one of my, probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's that good. I love this game to bits. If you guys haven't played it yet, please play it at some point. After Fallout 4, before Fallout 4, it's up to you. Again, it's game of the year, so it's got all the content on it as well, which is very nice. And there we are. Boom. Look at it. That's, that's such a cool disc. Right, that one to be put away. 
Next up is Fallout Tactics, which again I've not played, but that art again is that is that is awesome. Is that an um, en enclave? I believe. And again the disc. Do do. There we go. This edition is really cool. I mean, it's it's priced at like a, a fully fledged full title. You get like a mini nuke. You get all the games included. It's actually a pretty good price, which is uh, surprising. Um, also, I pre-ordered the, the Pip-Boy edition for Fallout 4, so I'll be getting that on release day. That's exciting. Fallout 2, again, which I haven't played. Why have I not played it yet? It makes no sense. I should have played it. I should have. I started to like Fallout 3, I should have been, oh my god, uh, one second, where's the previous two games? I should have played them, but I haven't. <laughs> I do apologise. And I, a lot of people love them a lot as well. Just as much as the that, that fruit ball at free on New Vegas, so it makes no sense. Uh, the next one is the is the first game in the franchise. Okay, even that art that's that's from ages ago, and it still looks awesome. The Brotherhood kicking ass, and there's the final disc again, an 18, of course, of course, always an 18. So bloody and sweary and awesome. So that contains a code on the back for registration. I don't know what that means. Ooh, what's this? Advertising for Doom and Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2. I oh, didn't really like the first Dishonored, so I'll probably end up leaving that. Some random leaflet. That, that's everything inside there. I mean, the best bit about it is putting it together and then it just making that sound. I mean, that is awesome. That's just like, I'm such a nerd. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna pretty install Fallout 1 now and go and play it, or Fallout 2, because I should play them, shouldn't I? I'm desperate. Also, Fallout 4 comes out very soon. Lots of coverage on that game when it comes out, including like gameplay, walkthroughs, tips and that sort of stuff as well. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.